All right, we are just 22 days away from the November election, and right here in Houston, Latino voters could make a big impact. It's a diverse and unique voting block with a wide range of opinions and positions, which is why Marcelino Benito and Maria Aguilar sat down to speak with a group of Latino voters about the issues important to them. Thank you all for, for joining us uh, today. Uh, you guys are all here, obviously, because uh, this is an important election and you guys are all part of a very important voting block here in Texas and really nationally. Who, av who among you plans to vote uh, this November? Show of hands. All right. Everybody. Everybody. Well, <laughs> I'm curious. Um, no, you're not I'm undecided. OK. I, I just haven't decided on any candidate. I'm not sold on any of them. I, I am voting, but I'm not sure if I'm going to vote in the presidential race. So in a way, I'm undecided as well. So now who here is under 30? So 12 million Latinos will be eligible to vote who are under 30 in this election in November. And now young Latino voters are increasingly identifying as independent. Why do you think that is? And does anybody here feel that way? Not under 30, but I'm not too far away from it. <laughs> um, I think it's a lack of identification with our representatives, our senators, um, the candidates. So who here, uh, by show of hands, plans to vote for uh, Kamala Harris for president? OK. Who here plans to vote for Donald Trump? I want to go back to you, Raquel. What's keeping you from going 100 in on, on either one? I think it goes back to right now, identifying as who we are as a culture, as a Latina, especially economically, the challenges that we have seen and that we've had to face even as a business owner. And I do feel like both parties have significantly failed us in many different ways. So what are some of the most important issues for you all, especially this election? I think reproductive rights is a really important one. The number one issue for me being a first generation Latina is the topic of immigration. Um, for me, um, it would have to be reproductive rights as well. Number one would be border security and then the other one would be foreign policy. Top issues? Border security. Más importante es pues que traigan mejores uh, cosas para, para toda la comunidad. Lo mismo que todo venga mejor para Para todo, sí. Raquel, top tip, top issues? Um, economy um, is definitely one. Um, of course, immigration is another one. We really, really appreciate you taking the time to be here with us today and being so open. Muchísimas gracias por muchas acompañarnos. Gracias, hoy. Muchas gracias por sus invitaciones. All of you have a lot of power as Latinos, and I hope you, mm -hmm. you realize that. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, a very interesting conversation there. You can stream more of our discussion right now on the KHOU 11 Plus app. It's available to download for free on Roku, Apple, and Fire TV. And tonight at 10, we will dive even deeper into the issues and what these voters wish politicians knew about them.